Hi folks, Gus J here. Uh, welcome to my house in Greece. Uh, I want to show you a couple of things today. Uh, mainly my uh, gear, some of my guitar collection, some of my amps, pedals and whatnot. Talk a little bit about it. Because uh, a lot of people ask me, how many guitars do you have? How many gear do you have? What, what kind of stuff do you have? So, you know, I thought of maybe I'll uh, solve the mystery and show you some of it. And uh, yeah, maybe play a little bit of a guitar for you. But first, I want to show you how to make a Greek coffee. So let's go do that. All right, first of all, this is the Greek instant coffee, as we call it, frappe. Frappe. Two spoonfuls of instant coffee. And then, however many sugar spoons you want. One for me, one for you then. Good. Then what you do, is you pour a tiny little bit of water here like this now the water portion the ratio water versus coffee and sugar is very very important Ooh, amazing and then put some ice cubes good thing i didn't touch my balls before and then you add some more cold water and then a black straw, very important. A Greek frappe. Okay, cheers. Okay, cheers. But you know, in Greece, you don't, you never do this with uh, a coffee. You never, no, never, never. It's bad luck, bad luck. Never, never, never. Okay, so uh, here we are um, downstairs. This is a place where uh, I sort of uh, use it as a storage room for a lot of my gear. As you can see here, there's lots of guitars that I have collected throughout the years. These are some of my home amps, so to speak. This is the prototype Blackfire 200 signature. There's only one of them in the world. And this is the final product here. Why I say it's one of these in the world only uh, is because it has a, a mirror plate here as opposed to this one being a, a black plate. And this amp, believe it or not, is even hotter than this one like at that time i remember i was also working on my signature pickups with seymour duncan and those pickups had really high output so when i tried those pickups in, uh, together with this amp on one of the firing tours the amount of gain and hiss was uncontrollable so we went back and redesigned the circuit and this was a final product here i must say i'm really proud of this amp i'm uh, the only signature black star um, artist this is an HT Club 50 Mark II Blackstar. I recently acquired this one. Well, Blackstar sent it to me. I love it. It's a great amp. I'm actually thinking of uh, taking it out on the road on some gigs and try it out. I, uh, I jam with it here at home and it's just phenomenal. This is part of my collection. It's a Boss Waza Craft. I've been using their pedals for a long, long time, like the tuner, the delays, the chorus. Uh, and all that, you know, the legendary effects. This is a Black Star cab with a frappe on top, and the logo fell off. And this was my poor attempt to glue it back. And finally, what I have here, the EVH 5153, uh, the, the lunch box, as we call it, which is a really nice small amp. Uh, actually, on the on my latest album, Fearless, I've uh, used tones, combination of tones from this amp and my Blackfire 200, which is. Perfect. So here's where I keep on the top shelf. This is uh, our um, backdrops with Firewind and with my solo band. These are the pedals that I've uh, collected throughout the year. Some of them are from companies that I endorse. Uh, some of them are just uh, companies that have sent me stuff to try out or friends that have small boutique companies and wanted to, you know, they gave me some gifts to uh, check their products out. I switch uh, from time to time on my pedal board and they find a place there for a couple of tours. I test them out and then I go back to, to my regular ones. This is uh, the chorus pedal by Boss. This is my first stomp box, I think. The Super Overdrive. I had this since I was 14, 15 maybe. This is like a booster from a company from Greece, Crazy Tube Circuits. Uh, a good friend of mine makes these. Really good, love it. And this is also from his company. This is a delay pedal. This is a signal splitter that we used in my Aussie days to switch between amps. This is a cool tuner that 
Bob picked up in Guatemala and I just took it from him just because he bought it in Guatemala. This is my old G Screamer signature from BBE. I used to use it, but now I don't use any booster pedals anymore. This is uh, the Archer pedal, Kirk Hammett's Ghoul Screamer. A bunch of Blackstar pedals, Drive Distortion, the Metal, the Dual uh, Distortion. This is my actual pedal board here. I take this on tour with me. It's really simple, man, as you can see. Just uh, Line 6 Relay G50 into a tuner. Nowadays I use a small Morley Wah, the Maverick. And basically this is something that I would bring, uh, for example, on the upcoming US tour that I'm doing with Vinnie Moore and Richie Kotzen. Um, yeah, I'll bring a pedal board like this. This is nice. This is a DiMarzio pickup that was originally on my first Stratocaster. Yeah, it's a souvenir. These are all the prototype pickups that we did. We went through with Seymour Duncan when we were making uh, the fire blackouts. These are just different variations. They would send me out on the road and we would test them out. This is a Jimmy Page pickup. Heard of this guy? Yeah, Jimmy Page. All right, guitars. So these are some of my custom shop uh, ESPs. This was a guitar I used for many years. Uh, in the last few Aussie tours on a bunch of uh, Firewind albums. Yeah, this is the rock art Eclipse guitar we made. My buddy in Sweden, Patrick Oleus, made this painting that looked like this and we basically applied the whole design on a guitar. I would bring it up for some songs during Ozzy's set, especially when we did the Sabbath stuff. I guess I used this one at the Hammersmith gig in London, June 21st. Okay, this is a very special guitar. It's one of 60 made in the world because it's uh, a Gary Moore custom shop. I used it on a track called Big City just to get some of that Gary Moore magic. Yeah, this guitar is fantastic. It's a relic. I mean, they've done, I mean, John Cruz, the master builder, has done an amazing job. The certificate and everything. Very nice. This is a Gibson Flying V. Okay. And then we have this. Another Gibson that I have. It's a special Les Paul that get, the guys from Gibson gave me. 120th anniversary. I love it. And I keep it in my collection. Here's a different Jackson guitar. The Monarch. I like this guitar. It's really cool. I remember they were sending me a bunch of guitars to uh, try out the playability and how the neck felt. And this was one of them. Yeah. This is also a very special guitar. This is a prototype of my star signature model. I used this one on stage in 2016. That was the very first time people saw me playing a Jackson. And I also used it on the video for the Quest. And this is a... Uh, I guess it's called a, a JS series, uh, one of the lower lines of my signature model. I think this one retails at about $399 or something, or $499. It's very good for its money. This is the chill out room. Hang out here with my cats. And sometimes I make some music as well. I recorded it there. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, stay safe out there and play guitar. It's fun.